Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stage 4 of Perfect Cherry Blossom because I wasn't very happy with the first version. <coughs> so yeah. Um, I just felt that the commentary and playing in the previous video just weren't good and interesting enough. And uh, even though I know ev everyone loves me and keeps giving me five stars, I thought I'd try and do something a bit better. So let's not waste any more time. Uh, well, actually, I will a second. Uh, so I had to start again, and this time I played through the first stages quite well. Lost one life, and that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, let's go. And to change, I I'm going to talk about other stuff during this stage four, I guess. Uh, one thing about Toho games is that we're always very, very concentrated, concentrated on the bullets and stuff. But there's a lot of interest stuff, inter interesting stuff to look at in the background. Uh, during the stages, the backgrounds are mostly static, but they're still interestingly drawn, and you should have a look at least once. And remember that. Every boss character in the series has her own background which shows when she's using a spell card. Some of them are really beautiful. Uh, I rem remember being very impressed with Sakuya's in the previous game. Also, while we're talking about graphics, uh, have a look at the shots. Uh, character shots and what happens when they hit the enemies. For example, Marissa here, her shots make lots of little stars when they com come in contact with the enemy. Just same thing here, nice to look at. Uh, did better in this place than I did in the previous try, didn't I? Uh, still use one bomb, but at least I'm, I got pretty much all the point items, which means more lives for me later on, which is nice. Uh, so last time I said that you shouldn't shoot at all in this part. So you still can hear. I just uh, recommend stopping now. Because at that point, the different uh, orbs, the orbs have different types of attacks when you shoot at them. Which makes it quite more confusing than it was before. Anyway, here comes that, here comes Lady White again. Uh, so her attack has Two, two different parts. This is the first part where you have to sort of stream the aim, aim red arrow shot while avoiding the white, I don't know what they're called, shot. And then there's Pan. Now here I did the streaming in the wrong way but ended up fine. Yep. Ah, bomb. Well, I would have needed the bomb sooner or later anyway. And stop, stop, stop. Ah! I just can't play through this part. At least I have to learn. Uh, there's some replay on YouTube of someone actually doing this properly. Uh, I might want to learn because wasting two bombs is still sort of shameful, I guess. Up, up, up. For those who haven't noted yet, uh, extra lives in this in this game are, le are earned through getting point items, and this means that missing a hundred or so point items might mean you lost a life. So try to get as many as possible. Uh, Sort of, well, after some point you get one life for every 100 point item. Woo, nice for the head. Uh, I usually get the 1000 point item life before the end of the game, however, 1200 I don't always get it. Uh, this death fair is really easy once when you know how to do it, isn't it? Is it? Or isn't it rather? Uh, boss time. I'm going to do the same 
selection as last time, which is the selecting Lyrica, the pianist, for the second <coughs> second spell. Uh, let's get on straight to the fight. So her opener is lane based, I guess. Uh, I managed to beat it last time, but it's really quite hard actually, and I'm not confident anymore. <laughs> Uh, please be over before it gets to me, yes. However, this part is fine as long as you're concentrating enough. And having the borders, always nice, see? I just messed up. Ha! Huh. Problem is the blue shots. Because they're not... Well, you can't just stream the blue shots away from me. Uh, live Poltergeist is just streaming. Marissa A is extremely useful here because of her huge power, as usual. Um, notice, I haven't said this earlier, maybe I should have. When there's three targets, you can deal damage to three of them. And with, if, you, if you have a character with strong bombs which damage the, whole, damage the whole screen, then you will be dealing triple damage. Extremely nice. Uh, this attack... Wow, look at the sheet music in the background. Wow, this is really nice. Uh, you want to choose your lanes properly and not get walled. Uh, it's actually quite hard to get the feeling for it. And I think I'm having it right now, so I'm happy. Stage in Riverside. So li I, uh, like I've said before... Whoops. Like I've said before... This is all about predicting and anticipating stuff. See what is going in your direction, what isn't, where is safe and where it isn't safe. And if you do that, it's fine. And Concerto Grosso is the same, but harder. Yeah, it's really the same principle. Uh, got to look, look, keep your eyes active. For where the bullets change directions, like this. Um, it's, whoa, that was close. I'm happy now. I'm really happy because I beat the Prism Rivers. Uh, breaking two borders stupidly on the long cars because I wasn't streaming properly, but otherwise it was pretty much perfect. Hooray! And I have four lives. Well, it doesn't mean much. Since I start with, started with more life, but I'm still very, very, very happy. Uh, see you next time for a proper new episode.